Hi guys, today we're going to go after another Grand Theft Auto 5 trophy, Show Off, where you need to complete every stunt jump. Now, stunt jumps will be a lot easier to complete as Franklin, as he's the best driver by a long way over the other two, especially due to his special ability of being able to slow down time whilst driving by pressing both thumbsticks at the same time. Now, there are 50 stunt jumps that you need to complete across Los Santos, and they vary greatly in difficulty. Some stunt jumps are a case of using a large ramp to jump a small gap, whereas others require a certain vehicle going at a certain speed, threading a needle through a very tight gap. Now, for me, I found it a lot easier by purchasing Grove Street Garage, which you can do for $30,000, and then buying the Pegasi Barty 801 bike. You can do so by going to Travel and Transport on your phone, then Southern San Andreas Super Autos, going to motorcycles and purchasing the Pegasi Butty 801. Now it does cost you $10,000, but it does also make these stunt jumps a hell of a lot easier. Now I say some because not all of them can be completed on the bike. Some you are gonna need a car for, but we're gonna cover all 50 in this guide anyway. And we'll talk you through each and every one. Now you can of course modify your vehicle at Los Santos Customs, increasing the turbo to give you more acceleration and straight line speed, which will help you with some of the harder jumps if you're struggling. But for the most part, for completing all 50 jumps, all you need is high speed and a good amount of accuracy going into each one of the jumps. So as you see on the screen, we've just gone through and purchased Grove Street Garage. We've also purchased the Pegasi Barty 801 Superbike. And we're just about to get into the first of all 50 stunt jumps. Make sure you stay around to the end of the video, as like I say, we have covered all 50 here which will unlock you the show off trophy or achievement. Now for the first one, we're going down to Los Santos International Airport, where you need to jump the barrier right next to the security gate. And as soon as you land, you are gonna get yourself a nice three star wanted level, unless you've already purchased a hangar, but purchasing a hangar, that's more end game content anyway. So land the jump and then try and evade the police as best as you can. If you do die, every time you lose your bike, you are gonna to need to spend another 10 grand to get it if that's the vehicle you actually want to go for. Like I say, most of these jumps you can complete in any vehicle that you want. Kind of a high powered car, high powered bike. I'll just use the bike because it's easiest for me. Now for your second jump, it's again found at Los Santos International Airport and it can be a tricky one to get right. What you need to do is get as much speed as you can going into the black ramp where you need to hit it on the left side, kind of angling yourself forward you need to be able to land in the car park that will be in front of you successfully. If you die, you're going to fail the stunt jump, land on both wheels without killing yourself. That will be the second one completed. Now for the third stunt jump, which is again found in Los Santos International Airport, you can only complete it in a car. Now for me, I've used Franklin's car, the Bravado Buffalo Sports. Now your aim here is to hit the blank ramp with as much speed as you can, angling yourself off to the left, where you need to land on the top level of the multi-storey car park. Now your fourth stunt jump can be found in Banning, and it's a simple case of getting up some decent speed, jumping over the sandbank, clearing the water, landing safely, that'll be the fourth one done. The fifth stunt jump is found on Elysian Island. You need to hit the ramp dead center where you need to get as much height as possible, allowing you to be able to complete the jump. If you aren't dead center on the pile of gravel, you will fail the stunt jump. So use Franklin's time slowing ability to help you line up if you're struggling, land on the road successfully to complete the stunt jump. Your sixth stunt jump can be found again on Elysian Island. You need to line yourself up outside the Pacific Allied Shipyard sign, which is on your right as you're facing the jump, which will give you enough distance to be able to get enough speed going into the jump. Hit the jump in the open trailer at incredibly high speed to be able to get across the water, which once successfully done, you will then complete this stunt jump.
Your seventh stunt jump can be found again on Elysian Island. You need to line yourself up, allowing enough space to get some speed up, then race south, where you're going to be able to jump a ramp in the back of a trailer, successfully land on the roof of the warehouse to be able to complete this stunt jump. Your eighth stunt jump is another one found on Elysian Island. You need to get some very good speed. Then when you get to the ramp, you need to angle yourself so that you hit the left side of the ramp from the right side, where you will be able to get on the roof of the building, avoiding the air conditioning unit in the process. This one might take you a few attempts, but once you're on the roof successfully, you will then have completed the stunt jump. Your ninth stunt jump is another one found on Elysian Island and it's a very difficult one as you need the angle to be exact as too much and you'll go too far to the left, not enough and you'll hit one of the silos. Now you're aiming to be in between the two concentrated nuts silos and to the right of the guardhouse so with a good amount of practice you'll get the sweet spot for this one and complete the jump. The 10th stunt jump can be found again on Elysian Island. Now you're going to need a weighty vehicle. For me, I used Franklin's car, where you're going to be able to make the distance. A bike simply won't be heavy enough here, regardless of the amount of power it has. Now you need to get a good run up towards the ramp, then activate Franklin's special ability, allowing you to carefully fit in between the edges of the trailer, where with enough speed, you will then land on the adjacent warehouse roof, completing the jump. For stunt jump 11, which is again found on Elysian Island, it's another stunt jump where the bike isn't heavy enough to make the trip. Now, you need to be just at the end of the first warehouse in line with the jump for this one, as too much speed going into the jump will send you into the building, so again, a few attempts might be required to find the perfect speed and trajectory. Once you've landed across the water, but in front of the building, you will then have completed this stunt jump. For the 12th stunt jump, another one found on Elysian Island, you need to get some good speed going into the jump, then use Franklin Special to be able to squeeze between the sides of the trailer where you're aiming to land on the road above your location. Now it is possible to over and under shoot this road, so practice as many times as you need to, then when you do land on the road above, you will then complete the stunt jump. The 13th stunt jump and the last one found on Elysian Island, thankfully. You need to go to the end of the dock, then accelerate hard, getting as much speed as you can, allowing you to hit the gravel bank just to the right of the center, where you will then get enough distance to land across the road where you'll complete the jump. This one again might take a good few attempts. Your full team stunt jump can be found in the terminal area, and it's a nice easy one compared to some that we've already covered. Now, get some speed, land on the opposite side of the road where you'll complete the jump.
Your 15th job is located in El Burro Heights. You need to get some speed next to the warehouses where you can then take a hard right towards the ramp, allowing you to go a good distance, ensuring you land safely where you'll complete the jump. You can find the 16th stunt jump in Rancho on Innocence Avenue. You need to go to the top of the multi-story car park where you're gonna find a ramp. Jump off the ramp without landing on a car below to complete the jump. The 17th stunt jump is located in Strawberry on Crusade Road. You need to again make your way to the top of a multi-story car park, then face southeast towards the ramp. Get as much speed as you can going into the jump as you need to clear the adjacent building where you will, once successful, land on the road completing the stunt jump. The 18th stunt jump can be found in Mission Row on Little Bighorn Avenue. You need to head down towards the Sprunk Extreme ramp at high speed to allow you to be able to get enough height landing on the freeway above where you're going to complete the jump. The 19th stunt jump can be found in Pillbox Hill on Elgin Avenue. You need to race through the small archway underneath the 24 hour parking sign, then jump the ramp where you need to land on the road successfully to complete your jump. Your 20th stunt jump can be found in La Puerta. You need to race down the right ramp where you will be underneath the freeway. Now this can be a tricky one as you need to go off the left side of the ramp before you hit the end, then go across to the adjacent freeway into oncoming traffic, which usually has a lot of cars or trucks coming down, so it might take a few attempts to successfully make the jump. Once you've landed without hitting anything else, you will then complete this stunt jump. Your 21st stunt jump can be found on La Puerta in Greenwich Parkway, and it's another easy jump to complete. Cross the grass to the small ramp heading southeast, then jump the storm drain overflow, landing successfully to complete the jump. For your 22nd stunt jump, which is again found in La Puerta, this could be a rough jump as you need very high speed, then at the ramp, stay dead center so that you don't hit the lamppost on the first bridge. You need to then ensure that you have enough speed to take you across the second bridge, where you need to successfully land in the Vespucci helipad grounds, where you'll then complete the jump. This one might take a good few attempts.
P23rd stunt jump, which is found in Little Seal. It's a nice and simple one, this one. Go down the off-ramp and then hit the jump dead centre, where you will then cross the road below and land on the on-ramp. Now, the only issue you'll face here is if a truck is coming from the left or right, so plan carefully where you'll successfully land completing the jump. As for your 24th stunt jump, it's found in Little Seal on Vespucci Boulevard. You need to get some high speed as you go up the off-ramp, then hit the ramp at the top on the left side, where you need to cross the on-ramp below. Now, land without hitting any other vehicles to complete the jump. For your 25th stunt jump, it's found in Little Seal, and we're about halfway there now. This could be a tricky one, as you need high speed with the potential for a lot of traffic to get in your way, as well as bollards and obstructions that could also get in the way. Now, get some very high speed, then when you hit the ramp, steer left to ensure that you can land successfully, where you will then complete the stunt jump. The 26th stunt jump can be found in Little Seal on South Rockford Drive. You'll need some very high speed for this one whilst avoiding traffic. So use Franklin's ability if you're struggling, then hit the ramp in the center, allowing you to land on the road below where you'll then complete the jump. Your 27th stunt jump can be found in Del Perro. You need to follow the road up and then take a left through the white and red bollards onto the grassy area. Get some speed up, then go off the ramp at the end, hoping that when you land there will be minimal traffic. Land successfully on the freeway below to complete the jump. Your 28th stunt jump can be found in Pacific Bluffs. You need to speed up the ramp towards the, the jetty building, then go straight through and head out the back wall in between the barriers. Land without falling off of the bike to be able to complete the jump. Your 29th stunt jump can be found in Richmond. You need to go down Mad Wayne Thunder Drive, taking a right through the barriers, then floor it towards the ramp, which you need to hit dead center, allowing you to stay to the left of the large tree. As long as you land on the road below without hitting any traffic on all four wheels, you will then complete the stunt jump. Now the 30th stunt jump on the list can be a bit of a tricky one. You'll find it in Rockford Hills Golf Club. You need to head into the golf club, which will first of all give you a two star wanted level, unless of course you own it, which is end game content. Then head down to where you need to very slowly jump over the broken bridge in between the archways, ensuring that you don't hit the archway after the jump, where you'll then be able to complete the jump itself. Your 31st stunt jump can be found in Rockford Hills on Portola Drive. You need to get some high speed going west where you then need to cut in between the entrance ramp angling yourself to the right so that you don't hit the buildings across the street. Land on the road successfully where you'll then complete the jump.
Your 32nd stunt jump can be found on Rockford Hills. You need to head through the centre of the building where you're going to hit a small white ramp allowing you to coast across the foyer below. Land outside of the building where you're going to then complete the stunt jump. Your 33rd stunt jump can be found in Little Seol on Del Perro Fury. You need to drive east towards the bridge, then take the left turn just before it going towards the freeway. Hit the ramp and cross both sides of the freeway, ensuring that you land successfully without hitting any traffic to then complete the stunt jump. Your 34th stunt jump can be found downtown on San Andreas Avenue. You need to head up to the top floor of a multi-story car park, then speed towards the ramp to the right at high speed, allowing you to land on the ground safely. Now, this can be done on the Pegasi Barty 801 bike. However, it is a lot easier and safer to do it in a car. Your 35th stunt jump can be found in Burton. You need to head west towards the Rockford Plaza. Then once you're underneath the plaza, go off to the right through the barriers, landing on the road below where you'll then complete the jump. Man, that's dumb luck right there. You can find a 36 stunt jump downtown on Integrity Way. You need to speed up the small road adjacent to the freeway, then go through the broken barrier across the bridge landed on the freeway below without hitting any traffic where you'll then complete the jump. Your 37th stunt jump can be found in Pillbox Hill on Alta Street. You need to go up the ramp then continue east through the gap at the edge of the road in between the cones landing safely on the road below where you'll then complete the jump. You can find your 38th stunt jump in Pillbox Hill on San Andreas Avenue. You need to head down past the Pillbox Hill Medical Center. Now take care as there's usually a few pedestrians in the way, so you use Franklin's special ability to get around or in between them. Smash through the barrier landing safely on the street below where you'll then complete the jump. Your 39th stunt jump is located in Le Mesa on Howick Avenue and can be a tricky one as you need to angle yourself just right to land where you need to. So to start off with, race up the on-ramp then at the peak of the bridge go off to the right and hit the ramp from the left but angling yourself to the right. Too little angle or too much and you will either land in the water or on the ramp failing the jump. You need to land on the flat surface of the storm drain in between the water and the ramp where you'll then complete the jump. Again, might take a few attempts this one.
You can find the 40th stunt jump in the Ron Alternates Wind Farm, and it's a nice simple jump to complete. Get some high speed going into it, then land on the ridge close to the road where you're then going to complete the jump. Your 41st stunt jump is located in the Grand Sonora Desert. You're going to need to be going very fast in a car to complete this one, so allow yourself plenty of room to do so and hope that the traffic isn't too heavy. You need to go off the left side of the road, then hit the jump in the center, where you will, as long as you're in a fast car, gain enough distance completing the jump. As for your 42nd stunt jump, it can be a bit of a tricky one. Now for me, I found it easiest going through the farm, then out across the field heading towards the prison. You're going to need plenty of speed going into the jump to clear the prison fences, but not so much that you hit the prison itself, so finding a sweet spot might take a few attempts. Now do take care when you land in the prison, as you're going to earn yourself a 2 star wanted level, and the sharpshooters in the tower usually aim for the head, as you're about to see. Now, as long as you successfully land the jump before the guards take you down, you will then complete the jump. Your 43rd stunt jump is located in Grand Sonora Desert. You need to race down the hill in the center of the gully, then hit the jump, which providing you've got enough speed going into it, you'll clear the road and land halfway down the adjoining hill, completing your stunt jump. Your 44th stunt jump can be found in Grand Sonora Desert. You need to speed down the dirt track, then hit the ramp at a high enough speed to clear the rocks in front of you, where you're then going to be able to land on the runway, completing the jump. Now, for your 45th stunt jump, which is located in Sandy Shores on Zancudo Avenue, it is the trickiest jump of the lot. Now, you need to hit the ramp as central as you can, then steer the vehicle in the air with L3, or obviously your left stick, depending on what console you're playing on, where you need to angle around so that you land on your wheels. Now, in addition to having to move the car mid-air, there's also a large tree right in your flight path, as well as several other things that get in the way of a safe landing, like a corrugated fence, sofa, small concrete walls, etc., now, this one took me more attempts to complete than any other jump on the list. Use Franklin's ability to help you hit the ramp dead center, where you will hopefully land on your wheels without hitting anything, successfully completing the jump. Your 46 stunt jump is located in Raton Canyon. You need to get some high speed going into the jump, where you're going to be able to cross the ravine, completing your stunt jump. Nice and easy, this one. Your 47th stunt jump is found on Mount Chiliad. You need to get some decent speed staying left of the road, clear the small gap to complete the stunt jump. Mm -hmm. 
As for your 48th stunt jump, which is located on Mount Gordo, it's another tricky jump to complete where the key is not having too much speed going into the jump itself. Your aim is to land on the small piece of land to the right of the lighthouse. Like I say, too much speed and you'll overshoot, not enough speed and you won't quite make it. So find the sweet spot, get yourself a decent distance, decent car, you'll be able to make the jump soon enough. But bear in mind, whatever car you bring, you will lose it. There's no way of recovering it from the lighthouse. Your 49th stunt jump can be found in Palito Bay. You need to head into the construction site at high speed, then hit the mound of dirt dead center, where your aim is to clear the small wall in front of you, where you'll then be able to complete the jump. And for your 50th and final jump, it's found in Palito Bay. Nice and simple this one. Speed down the dirt track adjacent to the Pacific Ocean, then clear the gap, which will then complete the stunt jump. And there we have it. That's all 50 stunt jumps covered. I hope it's helped you out to get this show off trophy or achievement in Grand Theft Auto 5. If it has helped you, please press the like button as it does help us out a great deal. Let me know down in the comments what ones you struggle with or what ones you found a lot easier. Also, whilst you're down there, please make sure that you subscribe to Griffith's Gaming Guides. Press the notification bell, that way you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You guys look after yourselves and we'll see you on the next one.